Okay, so I am road testing today Callaway's new pill, the ERC Soft. Now, I'm gonna be honest, normally when testing a new ball, it's always longer, it's always softer, and that is the claim here as well, longer, softer, but there is a difference with this ball. It's reasonably exciting from my point of view. We've got a visible difference. We've got the triple track technology, which is three lines on the ball. I love it, I love the concept of it, I'll explain why, but I'm ready to test this bad boy out. According to Galloway, the ERC is a lot of things. A distance ball with a soft feel and an exceptional high level of performance. They say it's their longest ball off the tee and it's really receptive around the greens at the same time. But when you get past all of that, for us, the real obvious difference with this pill is the triple track alignment marking. So like any alignment aid, you have to point it at the hole. So first things first, get this thing pointed where you want it to actually start. And once you've actually done that, you know, the best part about this ball is it's so, I guess, broad with its lines that it really does help you see, I guess, in parallel lines very, very easily. So once she's lined up properly, basically, Captain Obvious, put the putter behind it and stroke it towards the lines. Like, I guess, any normal alignment tool, you should be able to see it roll off, you know, in pattern. And the best part about this ball is that, as I said, if you don't like it, you put it around the other way. And now you've got the blanks I guess spot on top, which is what a lot of putters like as well. So it caters for both markets. It doesn't have to be there. And that's how I like it. Named in honor of the company's founder, Eli Reeves Callaway, the ERC Soft uses triple track technology for superior alignment for putts around the green. But there's more to golf than putting. So do these lines help you or hinder you elsewhere around the course? Let's see. So the conundrum, vertical, horizontal. Which way should I put the lines? I mean, I guess you face them down the, um, towards the hole like a runway. I'll give that a go anyway. Yeah, looks okay. So I'm gonna try horizontal now. See what that, I guess, feels or looks like to me. And I can actually tell you straight away, absolute no-brainer. If I was going to use the lines, that's the way I'd use them. They're less off-putting. The other way is like a curve from this angle. It looks a bit of an optical illusion, so this is much better. Ironically, I hit a better shot too. <laughs> it's probably the placebo, but either way, I'll take it. To be honest, these numbers blew me away a bit. Very long and great spin. Road test complete, I guess. Um, done a lot, putts, chips, drives, sand saves. Um, everything they say is pretty true. The, the soft feel, yet the distance. I found off tee balls, the, uh, the feel of it actually was quite firm. So went a fair way, around greens, definitely had the touch and, uh, and feel of a soft ball, so happy with that. I guess in a lot of ways, I would use it straight away. It just comes down to the lines. Do you like them, do you, do you not? I don't, um, that's me. I don't like any type of distraction on my golf ball when it sets up, I just like a blank face. But for some, it will be a godsend. They're there, they're wide, they're broad, and they'll be in a great alignment aid. So, definitely give it a go, road test it. You'll know straight away, it's pretty polarizing this. You'll either like it, or you'll hate it. Either way, it's different, and that's a win. If you like that video and you wanna see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell. But if you want to get all the inside stuff, head over to golfbarons.com and sign up for our inner safety. Boom.